Hi, I'm a dental hygienist and I'm going to walk you through a cleaning with me today. Today's video will show you a routine dental cleaning with a close-up view of the mouth, specifically in the mouth removing the tartar, plaque, and stain, which I'm starting right now with the ultrasonic scaler. So what I do is I use this on every single patient, the ultrasonic scaler. What it is is it's similar to a regular scaler, of course, but this one has water coming out of it. They can either be called piezos or cavitrons. It all depends on the vibrations, but the ultrasonic scaler in general uses a combination of both ultrasonic vibrations and high pressurized water to remove tartar, plaque, and stain. So like I said, I use this on almost every single patient and I just dial it either up or down depending on how much buildup they have. I use a very low setting if it's slight buildup and I use a very high setting if it's heavy buildup, heavy plaque and tartar, especially for SRPs, deep cleanings. So now after I'm done, now you can see I'm using the regular hand scaler. After I'm done completing all of the tooth surfaces with the ultrasonic scaler, I go back and clean all of the surfaces with the hand instruments, as you can see now. There are different hand instruments for different teeth. So specifically the ones you're going to use on the front teeth are different from the ones you use on the back teeth, right? Right? There's anterior scalers for the front and posterior scalers for the back. So that's what I do next. I go through the entire mouth again using these hand scalers, making sure to clean every surface of every single tooth properly and thoroughly. That's the name of the game, right? A thorough, proper cleaning. And you can see me kind of going around here. These are the posterior instruments for the back teeth. If you are interested, they are usually more curvy. They have more of a curve. Whereas the anterior instruments for the front teeth, there's not as many bends. They are less curvy. Just a fun fact if you ever see it on Jeopardy. Anyway, here I am using a scaler. Scalers are more pointy. They are the more pointy hand instruments. You can also use curettes as well, another type of hand instrument. I'm just not using any in this particular video, but curettes are usually not as pointy. There's a time and place for both scalers and curettes. And then we rinse throughout the appointment, we suction. And then at the end, we usually polish. I'm showing a cup and paste polish. There's also the air polisher, another option that goes like psh, psh. That's the one where they spray a baking soda air polish, but this is the one where you pick a flavor and they polish all of your teeth. It's nice and gritty and crunchy until they rinse it off and then it's nice and smooth. Sometimes hygienists will polish first, so they will do this part before the scaling, before the ultrasonic and the hand instruments. It just depends on the plaque buildup levels on your teeth. So yeah, you know, if you learn anything from this video, just remember that visiting your dental office routinely for simple cleanings like this is the goal. Maintenance cleanings are what you want because that means everything is staying healthy in your mouth. And of course, even more important than twice a year dental cleanings is staying on top of your dental home care at home. Because your dentist and hygienist, seeing them twice a year is important, but you are the one who can significantly improve the health of your mouth by brushing two times a day and flossing and or cleaning between your teeth at least one time each day. It sounds so simple, but lots of us know that staying on routine, keeping up with healthy habits can be difficult. We may be really good about it right after our dental cleanings and then we fall off. We accidentally skip a night of brushing or we totally stop flossing. So if this sounds familiar, I will link a program below. It's called Better Mouth. Let me show you really quick. This program helps hold you accountable each day so you never miss a brushing or flossing session at home. Because no one wants a toothache and no one wants dental problems. The majority of dental problems can be prevented. And just by having a solid routine and knowing what products to use at home, you can be the one who prevents them. So you only need to go to the dentist for routine checkups and cleanings, no other procedures. So be sure to check out Better Mouth to help you better your mouth at home, which of course will lead to easier, smoother dental appointments like this one here. Back to the video, finishing up at the end of your cleaning, we will generally floss your teeth. We make sure all the profi paste is out from your teeth and the flossing helps us actually feel the contacts between your teeth, making sure we didn't miss anything while scaling. Also sometimes even use air. We blow air on your teeth to check if we missed any spots as well. We are kind of doing an exam when we floss your teeth. And then we will also do an oral cancer screening here where we check the sides of your tongue, under your tongue, Tongue, your cheeks, all over your mouth to confirm there are no suspicious lumps or bumps present. And after the hygienist cleans your teeth and does the exam, then the dentist will oftentimes come in to do an exam as well. We didn't show any x-rays or periodicharting in this video, but I will link my videos below explaining more about those if you're interested. And in all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if you did. And don't forget that you can prevent major dental issues with a better home care routine. Preventing serious dental conditions, 
such as root canals, crowns, extractions. It is all possible with a better routine. And to create that perfect routine, make sure to visit bettermouth.com. I'll link it in the description and in the pinned comment below for you to discover all of the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine at home. Home care plus dental care equals a happy and healthy mouth. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, and teeth.